Thanks for staying with us. You're still watching Ways Now. Today is the International Day of the Eradication of Poverty. And the theme for this year, 2020, is acting together to achieve social and environmental justice for all. As according to the UN, this addresses the challenges of achieving social and environmental justice for everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is, I, like, everything is just happening and it's just so apt yeah, at the right that, time. That's the definition you know? of what's happening right yes. now. Yes, yeah. you know, because this is like everybody coming together, together. to say, you know, we want to fight for justice. For, mm -hmm. Because for me, I think, I mean, when you begin to fight for the people that do not have a voice, right, that is when, you know, there's real liberation and that's when you're actually really trying to solve a problem, the problem sure. especially the poverty problem in this country because sure. it's not the people that can like you and I know it's mm -hmm. actually those people mm -hmm. that do not even have anything, anything. who is coming together mm -hmm. you know to say you know what this fight is for this people very true and, yeah. the, the, and the truth is the fight is for us all mm -hmm. it is for us all but the truth is the people that don't have a voice especially in, the, in a climate like this don't also know their rights mm -hmm. for instance we need celebrities and people that are knowledgeable to know that see protest is my right if not if other sets of people that don't know these things they're scared because once they see police they will, everybody will literally mm. run <laughs> do you understand so it's just it's i feel everything is happening mm. is apt and mm -hmm. it's happening just in time, in time yeah. just let's see quickly what did you find for us in the news or do you want to quickly comment on the eradication of poverty no i mean i think you've sort of hit it on spot spot on um on that topic for me, really, um, when I think about eradicating poverty, there are key indices and key things that Nigeria isn't doing well on. Education, what are we doing? They say when you educate the girl child, um, you can change the course of the nation. So there's so many areas in which you can really Absolutely. target um, We are going to really talk in depth on and that. And we're not actually leveraging on that. All yeah. these loans that we're taking for capital projects, it should allow us to be able to create jobs in building roads and in building infrastructure. But we're not seeing that as a reality in Nigeria, so mm. we need to do better. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Uti, what did you find for us in the news? Okay, so um, COVID has apparently not left the group. Um, Uti, don't scare me with this, your story. 181, school, um, 181 students and staff contract COVID-19 in a Lagos private boarding school. So it was announced yesterday by the Lagos state government, uh, the Commissioner for Health, that a private boarding school somewhere in Lekki um, in Lagos, which has a total of 441 students and staff, uh, 181 of them have now been found to have contracted um, COVID. So apparently, uh, earlier in October, an agent, a student took ill, apparently, um, and showed symptoms and was sent home. And that led to the testing of um, everybody in the school. And 181 have tested positive. So the, the story goes on to talk about the things they've been doing, counseling the families, uh, keeping the children at school instead of going home so that they don't spread it, most are largely asymptomatic. I mean, this for me is a validation, not really validation, but it's confirmation that, look, you know, we can't take our eyes off the ball. COVID is still real. We still all need to be taking the necessary precautions, um, the face masks, the shields. You know, we're still, we, we ran the CAS promo a few weeks ago. People need to take it seriously. We need to make sure that we're protecting ourselves. Absolutely. But thank you for scaring me, because my mm. children are in the boarding house. <laughs> I will forgive you for scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Z, what did you find for us? Okay, so basically, um, of course, we have the protests going on, and a lot has happened, a lot has come to light, and all of that. So, of course... A lot of people have been dragging celebrities for showing up. A lot of people have been dragging celebrities for not showing up and all of that. So not too long ago, we had a particular celebrity, an actress, Lillian, if I write, show up for the protest. And she was looking all dolled up, really pretty and peng, snatched waist and all of that, holding a placard <laughs> and all of that, which I personally do not think is a crime. I think anything you're doing, do it well. Mm -hmm. That is my take on it and all that. So people took to Instagram, social media to start dragging her, right? Talking about how, oh, okay, you're coming for protests. Are you joking with us? Are we here to play? Are you here to catch trees? Why are you dressing up? Do you understand? Then she actually goes on on social media. Of course, that's a medium now. And she actually does a video talking about how, um, is that your business? Focus on your focus. We are actually here. Most of you complaining, I actually have not done anything at all. You're literally just there talking and you're in the comforts of your homes and everything and everything. And you know how they say the internet does not forget. Mm -hmm. So after that video dropped, not up to two hours later, we get reports that apparently her mom was actually in uh, in a whole mix mm -hmm. sometime in 2013, okay. where she was actually um, 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 accused of shooting and killing 
a Uniben 500 level um, student by the name Ibrahim Amadou, and it was actually crazy. And the funny thing is that, okay, so when the story broke, actually people were trying to color it up, according to um, um, the news, that um, it was her only that actually did the shooting and all of that. But funny, some story came up, one of the stories I actually read said that she, when she got to the office, was talking about how a night before she dreamt she actually killed two arm robbers, and then the next day she literally just told her guys that they were going out and that dream literally has come true. So a lot of people dragged her during that period, people complained and everything. They were, I think the thing that struck me the most was the fact that this report says that she actually killed the guy and buried him the next day, oh my goodness. even without his family members being aware of all of that happening. So people are now calling for justice for something that happened mm -hmm. in 2013, and she, even if she's retired. <clears throat> even if she's retired, yeah. see this thing is, People should be prepared because oh. it is only when you know they say when it is your when it's my brother mm -hmm. it is a connection yeah. when it's somebody else it is corruption. corruption so that's why I'm saying people exactly should be prepared because even for people that are in the force mm -hmm. or they have parents in the force they yeah, will drag everybody drag out so are everybody. we ready the answer is yes true, we should be ready true, for that true. so my story is quite um, quickly because I, I we're running out of time I just wanted to draw our attention to the vice president first of all I want to commend the vice president because mm -hmm. we keep saying that oh our leaders are not listening our leaders are not listening I love the fact that he went on Twitter you know there was a Twitter trend thread rather that he, he posted series of tweets you know um, first of all I really like the first tweet and that's what I would probably read you know um, first the, the first tweet he talked about uh, we will continue to update and engage you all on this um, action no no I think that's the last one let me mm -hmm. find the first one Oh, sugar, I'm trying to look for the first one. But when I find that first one, but, you know, he first of all apologized. Apologize, yes. You know, this is yes. what we are talking about when we talk about leadership with a face mm -hmm. of, you know, having a human face with leadership. Mm -hmm. He first of all apologized to the young people, mm -hmm. you know, and saying that your claims are valid. We know we've wronged you, you know, and all of that. Those are the kinds of, you know, yeah, we are sorry. This is it here. Yes. Then Nigeria, I know that um, many of you are angry and understandably so. Yeah. So we could move faster and for this, we are sorry. That is the beginning That's of leadership. Beginning. Taking responsibility. Taking responsibility and owning up and saying, you know what, we are sorry for this. Mm -hmm. We do not have any justification for these actions that have happened mm -hmm. over the years. Mm -hmm. you're, not the, you're not the ones on the street. You don't know what we are going through. You know, so I'm so happy that he's done this. And I want people to keep on, you know, retweeting those tweets because those are the kind of positive energy yeah, that I really. want, you know, so that we are able to find yeah. a middle ground to yeah. say, you know what, they are meeting us halfway. We are mm -hmm. also meeting them halfway yeah. to resolve this issue because it is beyond SARS. It's that actually is a beyond. complete reform of Nigeria. It is beyond, way Absolutely. beyond SARS. Absolutely. All right, mm -hmm. so we'll take a short break. When we return, we'll be speaking to our guests to discuss eradicating poverty in Nigeria. Please stay with us.